first of all y'all get on my nerves because y'all got me checking out some dad going fox with friends now and 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 some people listen once some people hear about this it's gonna ruin my rep on the streets man huh i ain't gonna be able to go in the streets no more <laughs> Man, welcome back. Well, we already saw that Tulsi Gabbard um, decided to say, F the Democrats, I'm not in it no more. Leave me the heck alone. I'm gone. She didn't say it like that, but that's pretty much what she was saying. But I'm checking this one out right here because it says Rob Schneider says, I've had it with the Democratic Party. I don't know who Rob Schneider is, first of all. But I just want to know why are everybody jumping ship? I kind of know why everyone is jumping ship. But I want my geniuses to help me out because y'all are amazing. So without further wait, let's go and check this out, see what's going on. And um, I'm not going to play it on that one. Okay, there we go. Well, just hours after quitting the Democratic Party, Tulsi Gabbard also revealing what her appearances on some media outlets has cost her. It ranges from people kind of like giving you a cynical look like whose side are you really on <laughs> to uh people just outright um ending ending that friendship or that professional relationship because they don't want to have anything to do with you maybe our next guest can relate to this actor and comedian rob schneider joins us right here <laughs> oh, rob schneider. <laughs> i know him <laughs> I see him in a lot of stuff. My gracious. Okay, but back to what Tulsi Gabbard said. Slim, let me tell you something. Hopefully you didn't think that you was going to get away with this unscathed. Like, you're going to lose some business deals. You're going to lose some friendships. You're going to lose a lot. You can't just make statements like this and, and, and be out, like, with no repercussions. No, you're not getting away from this unscathed. It's not happening. It hasn't happened for many people, myself included. You will not get away. And if you do, then I'm going to be upset. Something got a dag gonna give. I don't want anything, any harm to come your way or anything like that. But come on, come on now. All right, let's see what the comedian got to say because I feel like laughing, man. It's 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 some time. See, that's how you bring joy to people's hearts by laughing. Come on, Rob, bring it, bring it, brother. How are you? Hey, great to see you, Rob. Yeah. Uh, finally, have you on the couch? Thank you. It's used good to, to be. walk I, across I, the yeah. street. <laughs> What's your reaction to Tulsi Gabbard doing what she did yesterday? I, it shouldn't be such a shock. We don't get ten parties. You get two. Right. You know? And I, I really feel I don't want, I don't want the, the, you know, the Democratic Party trying to run my life. And there's not one aspect of your life that they don't want to interfere with. So I, I had it with them. So I got out of California. I moved to the slightly freer state of Arizona. Slightly. Right. <laughs> your, your journey is similar, though. You were a Democrat, and yeah. then you, you have to be in San Francisco. Uh, of right. course. So a given. Yeah. What was it that changed your point of view? Well, I just, I mean, literally, there wasn't, I mean, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> there, there wasn't one part of, of uh, <clears throat> business. I mean, Newsom pushed me over the edge. Right. I mean, it's just like, um, it, I just don't think your life gets better there. It gets worse. I mean, um, I, you know what it was? It was like, uh, there was, um, in San Francisco, they said, you have to remove, I was living in San Francisco. I, I had it made there. It was like, it's on the cable car and everything. I had a rooftop. It's, this is the place where I'm going to live forever. And they said, you have to have the toilets removed from your house. And I said, what? I, what? What? You I don't have toilets in front of my house. Right. It was flower pots. Right. They made me remove all the flower pots. So it just got crazier and crazier. And maybe I'm. Oh, my gracious. What? Are you telling me that people was doing, doing their business inside of your flower pots outside? Come on out. I thought this was going to be a joke. I thought they was just going to have him on here just for a segment of comedy. But he's been 100% with you. He's saying, look, I gave up. I had to give up Hollywood pretty much because I made a decision. And I'm, yeah. oh my gracious. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm working with an actor right now from um, in Hollywood. Um, a good actor. And this guy and I have started having conversations. And that's one of the biggest things that's on his mind is losing all of these relationships based off of how he feels and how he think about where the country is going. That's it. I'm like, bruh, you mean to tell me that you gotta worry about your career by simply having an opinion? Putting your family first? 
No, man, this is crazy. I'm looking at this all wrong. San Francisco either has a huge homeless problem or a gigantic camping success story. <laughs> you have to look at both what ways. you want to be so bold and so vocal about it? Because uh, Tulsi said, if you don't agree with the Democratic Party, you're trashed, you're canceled. Yes. Yeah. So absolutely. She's Do right. Do you worry about that, getting jobs? Yes, of course you are. Yeah. As an actor, you're trying to get, you're always coming from a place of trying to get work. But at a certain point, you know, you have to worry about, I mean, I'm in my 50s now, late 50s. It's going to catch you too, Brian. <laughs> but, no, yeah, I, I worry more about, like, um, you know, the freedoms of my kids. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a grandfather now. Right. And uh, wow. so, I mean, I do, at a certain point, you have to put, like, you know, there was a, it's really weird. Well, you, you know something's wrong uh, when, when people say, like, if you put God and uh, f family and country first, that's somehow controversial. Right. How is that controversial? Or a flag is triggering. <laughs> yeah. So right. I think at a certain point you have to say enough of this and stand up to it. Did and you lose friends? I would say people that don't return my calls as often. <laughs> but to be honest with you, a lot of people that, that I'm friends with in Hollywood, they lean towards the right, but like they, they're just scared of it because it really is like a mob of, of ideologues that just, just that you feel they will attack you. And it's really not necessarily based in anything but like this almost like a religious architecture in their thinking. So and and what's wild is even if he is still he 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 still does have good relationships with these people because I believe he's either he's been in a lot of Adam Sandler movies right am I am I correct <clears throat> or was it Ben Stiller movies I gotta think I, and I'm not trying to say all white people look the same I'm not trying to say that at all man that's not what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to say, I don't know if they're Jews. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. But he was in a lot of uh, movies and, um, and, 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 and projects with those guys. But if they know that he made a public stance the way that he did, sometimes to save their own careers, they will probably distance themselves from him. If that makes any sense. And honestly, I can see why they would do that. <laughs> I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it, but I, I see why they would do it. It makes sense to me. I mean, we are all here to take care of our families, take care of ourselves and our families. Trying to put God and family first. That's, that's what we do, right? God, family, country first. That's what we do. So... Whilst, while doing that, we got to consider, are our friends enough for us to sell our career down the river? No matter how stupid the situation is or how political the reasons are, must we also take a stance in order to save our friends' careers as well? Like, we're like, look, bro, you the one decided to be all political. <laughs> I'm cool with just... Going to work, doing my thing, receiving my fat checks so I can continue to live the lifestyle I'm living. And, you know, man, I wish you well. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but feel free to let me know. Like, brutal honesty, that's what I'm trying to get from the people who support this channel. All of this lollipop conversation stuff, like, just trying to sound, trying to say the correct thing and all that, man, that's out the window. We don't have enough time for that political correctness stuff. We got to say exactly what it is, how it is, period. No more BSing. So let me know whatever y'all feel about that. So when it that. comes to changing party, uh, to quote one of your characters, you can do it. You can do it. Right. You, know, you have you to go with what, what, what feels right for you. We get two parties. We don't get right. ten. Sure. And I want to, uh, you know. It was Adam Sandler. Yes, I got it right. I have a party that, that uh, represents my core values. And, and you were talking a moment ago about your family. You actually, so you've got this brand new movie out. Yeah. Opens wide this uh, Friday. It's called Daddy Daughter Trip. Your yeah. actual daughter is playing your seatmate in the front seat of a car <laughs> yeah she um, that's cool well first of all that's we cool. started trying to make the movie years ago and by the time we were getting closer my daughter was about you know 
uh, old enough to play the part. She started looking over and she said, well, who's going to play that role? And we were writing, my wife and I, Patricia. And she said, well, you know, you're getting close to the age. And so she started <laughs> coming up with it. And then she was great. I didn't have to give her notes. She's basically like like my daughter, Elle. They just they grew up in the business. Yeah. And they're like stage rats. Right. Yeah. And, they just saw and, it. And Elle is doing so well. Thank Elle you. is nominated for a Grammy. Her music is beautiful. Elle Thank King. You. She's doing really great. She's opening for Chris Stapleton all over. Right. Her. So you don't have to work anymore. You can live off her. What? What? Wow. Opening up for Chris Stapleton, Mr. Tennessee Whiskey. What? Okay. Oh, she tells me that. Get... She tells me that. <laughs> Who's... Dad, I got your retirement figured out, Dad. Right. I got. It. If you need to go into a home, I got it set. Well, I assume that's a good impression. We don't know. We haven't seen it off camera. <laughs> So, who plays your wife in this movie? Uh, Jackie Sandler. And is she related to? Uh, she's related to Adam Sandler. Right. <laughs> so fun. Boom. Boom. See? They, see, they making sure they take care of each other. You know what? He ain't got to worry about his relationships in Hollywood because he made some good decisions in the beginning. He showed his loyalty. Now they're showing theirs. Uh, you know what? Everything I said is out the window. <laughs> It's just flying out. That's a bird flying out the. Okay, and I know they don't sound like that, but okay. I did, you have created done the impossible. There's a sense of family with the Adam Sandler yeah. and the Rob Schneider movies. It's good. Right? Have, you I have mean, to. There's a sense of comfort. First of all, when you're shooting something, you have to be comfortable with the person. And so, you know, when you've spent so much time with these people, you just we just start rolling and shooting. And I played her wife in Home Team. Uh, you know, with the uh, you know Kevin James, yeah. who's another family so member. Funny. We have a lot of fun together. We try not to let the political whatever differences. Uh, I mean, the 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 love of countries is comes up first and foremost. Sure. We love this place. We want to continue and expand its freedoms and continue them for our kids. We it, care about that. Rob, is it harder to do a comedy though, given you know the political correctness and limits? Yes, it is. That's why I'm. You know, it's like first of all, this is the first movie that my I, my kids could watch. All the other movies yeah. back in the '90s. Right. It is tougher now because you have. Um, people who uh, will cling to a word or this or that and the idea is like you got to put it out there to what makes you laugh and, and right. hopefully Rob, that's enough. Rob, we miss you on SNL. You were so good. That was that was it. That was Chris Farley and Chris Rock and We you had a great and... team. Right. Well, you're gonna be how are you going to go back that dag on fire? We miss you on SNL. Do you know how long ago that team was together? Come on now. You you went real far back with that one. I don't even know why you even tried to touch that one. Ain't nobody thinking about that team no more. I know I ain't. Some of y'all old heads are, but y'all need to get with it. They, they got a younger squad now. They probably a little too liberal for you. <laughs> they probably a little bit too liberal for y'all. Y'all don't want to go over there and enjoy their stuff no more. As a matter of fact, what do conservatives watch for 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 humor, for comedy? I need y'all to let me that and let me know that because I love comedy i love humor i love to laugh i need y'all let me know that man because i would go check that out i would check it out with you all i would check it out for the first time i will talk about it you know present it to you all we can have some good conversations y'all can let me know all the history of all the characters the actors and whatnot um how they came about with the with the storyline what it means the inner meanings those other type of things that only you all provide me on a day-to-day -day basis man at any event this was good to see him talking and, and presenting himself in front of um, the, the, the news group at um, Fox and Friends. And um, yeah, um, uh, I'm going to play the rest of it for just for you all. On Late Night Tonight, you're going to be yeah, on with I'll be on the, the number one late night show, baby. It is. Yeah, I did, I did love uh, being on the, that show. It was great. And I wish them the best. I'm Steve Ducey. All right, so that's over. So y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so in the comments, all right? Uh, once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Okay, hold shift.